Hey guys, Jessica again with another Parallax Project of the Week. This week we're going to wirelessly control your Bobot through the PC using the Easy Bluetooth module. And we're only going to need two components to get this done. Your Bobot robot and the Easy Bluetooth module from Parallax. Let's get started. You may be familiar with controlling your Bobot's movements using the debug in command, which requires your Bobot to stay connected th to the PC through a serial cable. Using the Easy Bluetooth module, you can wirelessly control your Bobot using the sear out and sear in commands. We'll go over two methods of doing so this week, directly entering servo pulses and control using the numerical pad or the letters A, W, D, X on a keyboard. Full documentation and source code for this project can be found at forums.parallax.com, Stamps and Class, Stamps and Class Mini Projects, How To Bobot Robot with Easy Bluetooth Module. This page will contain all the information you will need to complete this project on your own. First things first, we'll have to establish a Bluetooth connection from your PC to the Bobot. Now most modern computers come with a Bluetooth module already installed. However, if you don't have one, you can pick up a relatively inexpensive Bluetooth USB adapter like this one from any local electronics store. Once you have Bluetooth enabled on your PC, follow the instructions in the product documentation, which can be found on the Easy Bluetooth product page for setting up a Bluetooth connection. Be sure to make a note of the COM ports used to communicate with the Easy Bluetooth module because we'll be using this information very soon. Once the Bluetooth connection is created, we'll want to be sure the Bluetooth module and the PC are communicating correctly. We'll do this by creating a connection between the Basic Stamp Editor's debug terminal and the outgoing COM port of the Bluetooth module. Aren't you glad you wrote that information down? To do this, go to Edit Preferences, select the Debug Port tab, find the entry that matches the outgoing Bluetooth COM port, right-click and select Include Port. Next, we'll test communication by sending a character from the PC to the Easy Bluetooth module. The Easy Bluetooth module will then send that character back to the PC so we can be sure that it's sending and receiving the right information. When you run test Bluetooth connection.bs2, you may notice that the debug terminal doesn't automatically appear even though you want to use it. This is because we're using the sear out command to communicate with the Bluetooth module instead of the debug command to communicate with the basic stamp directly. You'll need to open a new debug terminal using Control D and then you'll have to select the COM port we enabled earlier. Now you can communicate with the Bobot directly from the debug terminal without the serial cable connected. Verify that the characters received from the Easy Bluetooth module match those that you pressed on the keyboard. The next program we'll run will control the Bobot's movements by sending the pulse widths and the number of pulses from the PC to the Easy Bluetooth module. In terminal bobotcontrol.bs2, the debug terminal prompts the user for the number of pulses and the pulse widths for each servo in order to move the Bobot. Once these values are inputted, they're sent to the Easy Bluetooth module using the sear out command. The basic stamp on the Bobot then stores these values and once all values are received, the Bobot moves based on the parameters entered. With the same concepts used in terminal Bobot control, we can also move the Bobot based on the numbers entered in a keypad or for you laptop users, the letters A, W, D, X. Basically, the Bobot will move forward if the number 8 or letter W is pressed, backwards if 2 or X is pressed, right if 6 or D is pressed, and left if 4 or A is pressed. In terminal Bobot control keypad.bs2, the Bobot waits for a letter or number to get pressed and then moves in a direction based on that character. Verify that the buttons pressed move your Bobot in the correct direction. Then have some fun wirelessly navigating your Bobot around the room. And that's all there is to this one. Remember, for full source code and documentation, go to www.parallax.com and click the Project of the Week banner. Or you can go directly to the Stamps and Class Mini Projects page on forums.parallax.com. Until next time, happy developing!